Calm down for a second and talk to me. What's your name? Uh, oh, uh... Brad. Good. Now, tell me what happened. I don't know. We were out on the town blowing off some steam. And one drink turned into three, and three turned into... Who knows how many? The details are hazy. I... I must have been driving Rick and Laura home when... Oh, God! I killed them! I'll never forgive myself for doing this. You don't know if you did. You said it yourself. The details are hazy. Now, I can take a look around here and see if anything jumps out at me. God, what have I done? Hmm. This must be Brad's car. It's not looking good. But it's something. Gas station's not far from here. I should check it out. Strange coming back here now, like this. A place I used as a crutch to get through the tough times when I found myself suddenly alone again. Funny how history repeats itself. Not tonight. Tonight was the first time he used a gun. This guy relies on close proximity. So remember, if you approach him, it gives him power. But, sir, if we can't approach him, how do we arrest him? Remember your training. He's a wanted cop killer now. You can shoot him on sight. Bell Killer War. No, sir. I'd be very interested to know that myself. No. No suspects at this point, sir. This boils down to sloppy leadership, Lieutenant. Whoever made the call for Ronan to go in alone, it's on you. We lose one of our own tonight, and you have no suspects and no leads? Look, Captain, he wore gloves and apparently didn't touch anything in the apartment other than the knob on the front door. He didn't leave prints? Fibers or anything else traceable. And if you think I don't want this guy to pay more than you, you are sadly mistaken. Watch your tone, Rex. Everyone knows he was your brother-in-law, so you don't need to remind us. But you lose your cool again, and more of your own will join Ronan. You understand me? You find this guy, or a clue that leads to his doorstep. Now! That's an order. Yeah, understood.
myself. This killer's flesh and blood like all of us. faith in the department. I wish I could say that's the weirdest thing I saw tonight. about the missing tenants. I can't tell you anything, son. I'm not the homicide. I've only been in the department for six months. I just... Do cops get killed? Hey, Baxter. You still relying on that wizard lady? You know I ain't into all that spiritual crap. But she's onto something. Results are results. You find a more reliable source, let me know.
Robinson's got the girl in the room right now. Think she knows anything? Wonder if that girl knows something. Better stick with what I know. for it's too complicated to get into let's just say that I wasn't about to let some judge decide how to spend the rest of my life that's my choice so I made it either way no it doesn't matter now does it if it didn't you wouldn't still be here maybe I can help Nah, I appreciate it but you know it looks like you got your own shit to deal with I'll figure it out on my own Always have. Thanks, though. If only I could tell my younger self what I would become. I've got to get out of here. There's a ghost right over there in that cell. Don't you have some other place you can keep me? Shut up, man. It's bad enough we're in jail without all your crazy talk. What? You too? Why do I get stuck with the crazy guy? Someone get this guy to the loony bin. I didn't know that you... wake up. What am I supposed to do now? I wish I knew, kid. I'll let you know if I figure it out myself. Isn't a spiderweb tattoo usually a single time spent in prison? This tattoo have two spiders in the web. He got his own tattoo wrong. It's just a tattoo. That's all I know. Focus on your work. And this raven, it's like chained to... Are those prison bars? We don't pay you to analyze tattoos. Yes, sir. One of these keys is a felony. Each one. You get that, right? 
No? All right, it's your funeral. Sit tight, relax. You're gonna be here for a while. Fuck! All right, look. Look, I might be able to help you. Is your mom's book from the Bell Killer case here? Yes, and it would probably help me find my mom, but as I told you before, you're dead. How can you possibly help me? Hey, I know this place better than you. Now, who did your mom work with here? Who? I don't know. She just called him Bastard. Baxter. All right. His office was on the second floor. You stick with me, I'll get you there. Let's go. Go where? They're watching. Not for long. Follow my lead. I'll get you past these cops and to the door on the other side. Piece of cake. Yeah. Last time you got caught, Magellan. Stay low or they'll see you. Come on. But this? stay low. Nice job, kid. We're almost there. I don't need a cheerleader. Hey, I got us this far, didn't I? Got yourself killed, Mr. Bullet Holes. Uh, uh, hey, kid. I hate these things. Uh, I, I can't get across there. You're gonna have to help me. Well, can't you just fly over it? Fly? Or? I'm a ghost, not a plane, all right? And look, you need me to tell you which office is his. Duh. Don't read any of my thoughts. Or Think anything creepy. This doesn't make us even. Okay, man, get out. I got this.
sickness she carried in her brain? You made it tolerable. Well, I guess you must be together now. murder changes, the inner zeal is the same. This is why the killings seem random and related. But the police can't see these connections. Except Officer Baxter. I can't say I trust him, but he's my only chance. I can still remember my first day on the force. Salem PD was in this tiny building on the edge of town. It was old, crowded, and completely insufficient to handle the day-to-day -day operations. Protecting Salem was getting harder and harder. And finally, the city decided to convert the old armory into our new headquarters. When we finally moved in, I couldn't believe how big and modern the place was. Not bad for one of the first buildings in Salem. Plus, it just felt right. It used to be the city's first line of defense in a wild frontier, and now it had resumed its post once again, only this time in a modern world. The first week was a little chaotic as we settled in. One officer reported that someone had removed his gun from his locker. It took him 20 minutes to track it down, and when he did, he found it leaning against the wall in one of the unoccupied offices. Also, the late night station operator reported a strange phone malfunction. Occasionally, when someone would call in to report a shooting, the recording would just stop. The call would cut out, and the voice of the panic caller would just loop over and over again until the phone was unplugged. Soon it was pretty clear that these strange occurrences weren't just honest mistakes or faulty phone lines. One evening, the medical examiner came running down the hall in tears. She noticed that her scalpels and other tools had gone missing. She went to get more from the cabinet, but stopped cold at what she saw in the reflection. A ghostly silhouette of a Civil War soldier was standing over one of the corpses. When she spun around, he was gone. She barely noticed how cold the room had gotten before running off. Of course, the guys didn't believe her. Hell, I didn't either, until I saw it with my own eyes. I was working late and got up to get more coffee. As I rounded the corner, I saw it in the reflection of the trophy case. It was staring right at me. He lifted an old, ghostly rifle and pulled the trigger. The trophy case fractured into a 
spider web of cracked glass, and I, I took off running. The captain didn't believe me. I had docked my next paycheck to replace the glass. I didn't care if people thought I was crazy. I know what I saw. People sometimes ask me if anyone else has seen it since, or if the specter still roams the halls. I always tell them the same thing. I wouldn't know. I transferred to Boston. usually work the day shift. Okay, but which office is Baxter's? It's in the back hallway to the right. Okay. Are you trying to get caught? You're about as stealthy as a tornado. Ugh, the desk was like that when we got here. Yeah, I know. How many places can you hide a book in one tiny little room? Who knows? against me. Sure, take your time. No rush, I'm sure that book will bind itself. All right, just calm down a second here. Cops don't hide things in plain sight. I just need to figure this out. Can you check that voicemail message? Okay. Baxter, I told you, you're off the case. Now we need all the files in that psychic's book in my office, now. Rex was still asking for the book, so it is probably still in here somewhere. Good.
Come on, we have to find that journal. I think I found it. Show me. There's a button on the side of the gun rack. Yes, this is it. Oh, please tell me you understand what all these symbols are. Yep, yeah, some of them. That's weird. The last thing she wrote is he knows about me. Oh, God, that means he was after her. You don't know that. Come on, we should move. Oh, t crap. Wait, what is that? The museum. That's strange. Why would this be in her book? I don't know. Just, just take it and figure it out later. She's here somewhere. I'll check here. Head toward the back office. We gotta go. Stay out of sight. Go, go! Stay low, but go faster than that. Sure, the coast is clear. Rex. Who's that? The cop you need to avoid. All right, you're gonna need to make a break for that room over there, but wait for my signal. Hey, LT, hold up. You know what this fire drill's all about? Go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Wow, what is this place? Bell Killer War Room. Everything we know about the case so far. Well, I got what I need, so. See hey, ya. If you keep trying to do this alone, you're gonna get yourself killed. How would I just leave it as. Oh, you won. Crap.
Hey! You can't get away that easy. If you care about the case so much, find your own damn clue. You won't find your mother without me. What? station and don't look back. All right, listen. Your mom wrote that book to help find the killer. It's not going to say what happened to her. The truths we're both searching for can only be answered by finding the killer. I need a pair of hands in the living world and you need a detective. The last case. Ashland Hill Cemetery. They can't see it, but it's there. What? I, I don't know. I guess, I guess my mom thought there was a case that was linked to the bell killer. The cops didn't. Okay, we go there next. Ashland Hills. <laughs> we? No, we? Come on, we need each other. You need me a lot more than I need you. Either way, partners. Fine. For now. Now is all I worry about. Ronan. My name is Ronan O'Connor. I'm... Joy. Seriously? And Ronan is better? Why don't your parents think you'd be a medieval gladiator? So we're really going to a cemetery, huh? Yep. Uh, I, I have to do something, so I'll, uh, I'll just meet uh, you there. Uh, 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 no, 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 I'm not letting you ditch you me again. you follow me, the deal is off. It was meant to be. I'll see you there. If not, I won't. Uh, you better show up to that cemetery, kid. You're the only living person I have left. <laughs> 